public policy towards oligopolies. Now, of course, I just go. I went way off track there. I went way off track, and um, everything is inter interrelated. Though I got into game theory, and then I discussed how game theory applies to firearms and to people trying to murder each other. And then I got into the statistics, the findings of the National Academy of Sciences, National, um, I mean, no, the Center for Disease Control, meta studies. But back to chapter 17 of George Mankiw's Principles of Microeconomics. Um, as we've seen, blah, 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 restraint of trade and, and, and the antitrust laws. Um, Restraint of trade and the antitrust laws. I don't know if antitrust laws are effective or if we should, if we should have them so long as we have intellectual property. Um, but oligopolies do not, just like monopolies, do not tend to form except for under conditions in which the government creates them, either by intellectual property law, you know, um, or by you know a regulatory agency that's captured high taxes, you know, regulations that you can just say, you know, you, know, you go to this smaller firm and say, we found this, uh, one of these, you weren't in compliance with our safety laws, this, um, this rigging right here was, the tie was not tied correctly, and, or, or they'll just, like, take a pair of scissors, snip, snip, snip. oh, you know, this, look at this electrical wire, it, it's, it's broken, you're not in compliance with the safety law, we're going to fine you $100,000. And they'll be like, that wasn't broken before. But like, ah, got you. And they'll just like, you know, if you, that's the power that regulators have. They can, you know, you can do corporate sabotage and then make, you know, make the small competitor out of compliance with the regulations. Or you can send in a, you know, corporate espionage. You can send in someone to go in there and deliberately do something that is out of compliance with the regulatory body and then get them shut down. I don't know the full Sam corporate corporate espionage. I haven't studied corporate espionage in full, but I do remember that um when the that all those Russian spies, attractive uh, honeypots, the female spies were found. Those female Russian spies, would they would they uh, get it? female Russian spies? Uh, banks. Uh, U.S. attractive hot Russian spy women. Um, the FBI released papers on Russian spying that involved in a. Uh, Involved Anna Chapman, Operation Ghost Stories, and blah, blah, blah. Now what was that? What was that? I forget. What was it? I want to find the the women. Um, no, no, no. Uh, what the? What did they? What did they get into? Goldman Sachs. They got into corporations. They. Oh my God! He was. Russian spy woman. Russian spy woman. Oh, let's go. I'm gonna go to alternative media. I wasn't the mainstream media, but I need to go to the alternative media to give me the mainstream media. Russian spies deported from U.S. deported from deported. This is all just about Anna Chapman. Okay, Russian spies. They just want to make it about Anna Chapman. Okay, Russian spy spy Cynthia Mer 
Cynthia, Cynthia Murphy was getting close. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. Blah blah blah. We're here, New York Post. Russian spies deported from U.S., including Anna Chapman, get top Kremlin honor. Russian President Dmitry Medvedev on Monday handed top honors to the Russian spies deported from the U.S. in July in the biggest spy scandal since the Cold War. Blah, blah, blah. The group of 10 spies working for years on the cover in the U.S.'s sleeper agents returned to Russia in a sensational swy swap that saw Moscow send four Russian convicts to the West. They include the glamorous Anna Chapman, who became a figure of international notoriety and mysteriously resurfaced earlier this month at a space launch, a space launch in Kazakhstan. You can't make this crap up. This is the most ridiculous crap. I right, see Russian spies deported. What were they? They weren't signed. I think they were. Was it insurance companies? I don't care about Anna Chapman. It's, it's everything. When I look this up, it's all about Anna Chapman. Anna Chapman. Anna Chapman. Anna Chapman. I don't care about Anna, Ch Anna Chapman. I want to know about the female Russian spies deported from the U.S. United States and what they were what they were doing. They just want to make it like it's all about her personality and how she's hot and blah 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 blah. Like I don't care. I want about. I want to know about the operation. Oh, shut up. Here, Huffington Post. Maybe we'll get some actual like. Interesting information, not make it into like a celebrity bullshit thing. What did they do? What were they infiltrating though? Blah, 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 blah. What were they... They had jobs in major... Bank, big banks. I remember. Oh, God. Anna Chapman. Come on. Give me some information. Come on, man. It's, this should be oh, it should, it should be easy information to find out. Here we go. I got some real information. Oh God. Hey, 